name is uh, Ray Howlett. I'm a lion with the Halliburton District Lions Club. I'm a past district governor uh, of this district. I'm chairman of the committee of the 2013 Multiple District A Convention, which we're holding here in Richmond Hill. Our press conference today is to alert as many people as possible about the convention uh, and more uh, probably about us as Lions. We're, we don't expect we'll get a lot of people signing up from the local community. You need to be a lion to come to our convention. What we're really looking for here today is to make this community available. We're going to uh, aware that we're going to be here and to perhaps allow some of the local merchants an opportunity to display their wares here in the hotel. We have uh, table space available for rental. We're hoping to have in the neighborhood of four, five, six hundred people here, uh, depending on registration. And I think it would give an opportunity for local merchants to let the people from all over Ontario and eastern Quebec uh, make them aware of what's in this area. So that's basically what we're hoping for, is, is to have a, a good good rapport with the local community as well as, as having a lot of the lions from across Ontario come to see us. I see the slogan called Around the World in Four Days. Does this mean there's someone from overseas coming to the convention? Our guest this year, every year we have a, a, a guest speaker come. Our guest this year is, is Barry Palmer from Australia. And Lion Barry is the first international president. The reason we selected Around the World in Four Days is, as you know, Lions Clubs International, we are a worldwide organization. We're in 205 countries and geographical areas. So, And we need to make people, our Lions, aware of the fact that we are an international organization. There's more to Lions than just us white people. We are a varied community around the world and, and right here in the province of Ontario we're a very varied community. Our district has has uh, what you would call ethnic clubs and uh, we're very excited about it and that's why we chose the theme around the world in four days. We just want people to know that we are international. So how many years you serve in Lions? I joined Lions in 1989. My father, uh, my late father was my sponsor. So 89, but yeah, and I can't imagine not being a lion because we serve. The good we can do in a community is, as a group, is more than I could do as an individual. So I, I'm just gonna. I love being a lion. So what makes you like to be proud being lion, and then what makes you say that long? What makes me? Yeah, you say you joined in 89. Yes. Right? It's, it's so many years been serving the same organizations. How to be lions? What's the reason? The reason is I can do good. I can do more good with a group than I can as an individual. As an individual, I can't give big sums of money to help people or to help charities, but when we work as a group, we can do more. We can support more individuals, more organizations, more people in need. Uh, and I believe as the one point over 1.3 million lions worldwide, if we decide to take on a task, it's a huge and powerful force. And to me, doing good makes you feel good. How about the last question? So you have been in line so many years, all right? What about the lion development in Ontario? Did you face any challenge before, or any ups and downs, or is it always good? Nothing's ever always good. There's always challenges. Our, our challenge right now is, is membership, trying to convince people they should join Lions Clubs to be volunteers. And as a member of a Lions Club, you, you we pay dues. We pay dues every year. So yeah, it costs money to be a Lion. We pay to be volunteers to do good. But uh, the, the social aspect, the people I've met, I've been to international conventions, I've met people from all over the world. I, I've worn my Lions pin when I've been on vacations. I've been recognized as a member of a Lions club. I've been treated by people in different countries very well because they say, you're a Lion, I'm a Lion. I've been to Lions meetings in four different countries. Uh, although each country and district, they do things a little different, we still do the same thing. We work to raise money to help people. Okay, okay. One last question is, what about succession planning? Any new members, young, young members joining Lions? We work very hard to convince younger people to join our organization, but in this day and age, there's so many distractions for young people, there's so many things to do, and with a young family and the cost of raising that family, we find that uh, mother and father both times 
are working and their time is limited. So it would be it would be wonderful to target people in their 30s to come and join our organization, but we have to be realistic and realize we're probably further ahead to to get people who are a little more established and their family is more able to take care of themselves uh, without the parents being there. You know, taking your kids to hockey, baseball, soccer, dancing, etc., etc. So it's uh, when I joined Lions, well. 1989. I was younger. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't have as much color in my face as I do now. But uh, my children were grown to the point that they didn't need me there all the time. So uh, you can you have more spare time? More spare time, uh, and really, yeah, more disposable income. I guess more ready, maybe more ready to to get out there and, and do something worthwhile in your community.